that moist environment of a grocery store, not warm enough to be considered the heat of the summer, but calling it cold would make the dampness of the open room feel wrong. The bread box is not the same anymore. Looking at it now, it's cold and dry, not quite insulated enough to keep the rolls inside soft. Flies come and go, and there are crumbs swept into the corner. Perhaps it has always been that way, the truth curtained by optimistic ideals. The chapel, lot always full on Sundays. The doors fight to push back the sounds of traffic, but the Old Testament cannot win against this new life. The roughness of blankets, never seeming to warm the people taking shelter underneath. The pleather of the love seat, stripped away, never living up to its name. DVD cases with the plastic peeling back, the covers touched by humidity. The walls, cold to the touch, they're crawling with the knowledge of all they have witnessed. The skin remembers, better than the mind can ever, the skin remembers. The cracks of the rotting floor reveal the sand. Its inhabitants are unguarded. How could they expect such foreign hands would find them? Defenseless, without anywhere to go, they seep out of the cracks. Come one, come all, security and prosperity, only a floorboard away. The guilt of ever feeling safe tarnishes them. Most disregard the bay when thinking of the beach. The tide rises when you least expect it, and suddenly you are pulled farther from the shore, and yet it feels safer. Crawling along the dock, cutting your feet on the barnacles that your body is met with, even as it pulls you under, and you're left hopelessly grabbing at nothing. You know the other side is just out of reach, and it feels safer still. 